Every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction. My faith is shaking, but I, I gotta keep trying. Gotta keep my head held high. It really improved me, and I started to get more confidence in myself. I also want to thank LJR Intellect Academy for giving me this award. And Ms. Lynn, she was really helpful, really nice, patient, and consistent. She was determined to make me a good student and a great dancer. And I'm just really thankful for everything. My name is Erica. I just turned 17, and I am a part of the Art Academy. And I have wrote a poem, it's an I Am poem. The title is called I Am Free. I am like a bird. I wonder how far I could fly. I hear myself saying, I can be what I want to be. I see my life easier as ever. I want this to happen every day. I am free. Hi, my name's Alexis. I've been in the Arts Academy for over like six years. I started when I was 12, now I'm 17. Um, when I joined it, I was only 12 years old. I had a lot of fun. Um, I was really nervous, but at the end, I gained a lot of confidence. I went to high school. I joined the dance team. I'm on doing dance there for like three years now. Um, I did a lot there. Um, you gain a lot of confidence when you dance, you know. Hi, my name is Mason Love. I've been in the academy since I was 16. And the reason I like about this class, they help me express myself through dancing. And I get a chance to help all the students. The best part about the academy is help kids stay out of trouble, avoid bullying, where you won't pick a fight, and you have lots of fun with your friends. My name is Crystal. I'm 18. Thank you for your work in the Arts Academy. Um, I've been with the Arts Academy since I was 12, so it's been over six years. Um, we had a lot of fun here at the academy with all our dance team. We um, did performances, we did car washes to raise money for our um, uniforms and everything. We, um, we built a lot of strength within ourselves. Like some of the things that you, that stick out in your mind. Well, I can say the best memory was our last show. Rainy, really hard that day. But like a lot of people still came, you know, we had a lot of people. There was like dances from other people did like the tap dancing one. I remember they did like the lappy tappy beat. It was I liked it, that was my favorite. Okay. Mine was yeah, it was our performance too. We had a lot of fun that day. We had a lot of support from our family and friends.
on out. Tell you this boy, staying out of trouble, letting the gang world alone, cause he see a better future. You don't have to gang bang, pull out a gun and shoot people, kill people over a color that you don't even represent over a street number that you don't even represent. You can't take it to heaven. When you go, you better try to represent some real, some right. This man been dancing and he's tight. Show your love, little tight. He took this dance and made it, he challenged our anger. He made it challenge our anger so where we don't have to fight no more. We don't have to use our fists. We can talk it out. We can go, let's battle it out. Come on, let's go. Let's battle it out. You don't dance for him, battle it out. And then after that, everything's fine. This is not a trend. Let me repeat, this is not a trend. Out here, it's a flow, it's a vibe. It's like getting out your anger for on the dance floor. It's not dangerous, it's, it's life. Gang banger, it's a competition. The Crips go against the blood. That's how Thomas started a thing called the Battle Zone. Battle Zone. Battle Zone. Battle Zone. Battle zone. By this battle zone being created, it's like that same competition, but it's on the flip side. Somebody wants to be the best. Somebody wants to be noticed. Rolling Stone calls Rise a knockout, a visual miracle. This summer, the sky is the limit. sail into the dance world we're gonna take it by storm we're gonna rise no matter what rise so now there's a project called um hang on a second ljr that you're gonna be a part of the intellect academy of the arts and i realize you're taking a part in that is that correct right you know what i've been talking uh to lynn ashley is, is uh me you know teaming up with, with ljr you know and a timely clown collaboration just to bring the uh the, the necessity to the san bernardino to the ie a positive movement a, a, a wave of change and hoping that they they do make a change you know because a lot of things is going on in san bernardino that need dealing with that you got to that you got to address that you got to try to help these kids change before it's too late very much so agree with you <laughs> This is our ghetto ballet. This is how we express ourselves. This is the only way we see fit of storytelling. This is the only way of making ourselves feel like we belong. Like we belong. Like we belong. Like we belong. When you know that there's a crumb session, me, myself, and I know a lot of people will stop whatever is going on if there's a gathering because it's the spirit that's there. There's a spirit in the in the in the midst of crumbness. There's a spirit there. You know, I've, a lot of people think it's just you know. Oh, they're just a bunch of rowdy, you know, just ghetto, just heathen and thugs. No. No, what we are, are oppressed. 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 Oppressed.